Also, uh, we raise chickens. Not too often many, but uh, what we do, we'd order our chickens mail order. I guess it came from Sears, I don't know. But uh, the mail carrier would bring them out on the back of this car, strapped to the top of it someplace. Now these were day old baby chicks. If you got unsexed chicks, that means uh, you didn't know what sex the chicken you're going to turn out with. They were a penny apiece. And if you wanted to pay the three cents a piece, you could get them sexed into so many roosters and so many hens. Of course, roosters for, for the table, hens laying the eggs, sell and use in the house. I remember one time we came in from town, and it's after dark. We didn't usually stay out that late because we taking care of the livestock. But uh, for some reason or other, we were late getting home. And had done the chores and uh, was gathering the eggs. And we had, oh, just egg nests scattered all over the place, and apple boxes, and oh, anything. You saw them in the barn. They just lay free on the hay. Well, we had this one particular bird uh, chicken nest, uh, kind of a ten things I remember. It was four or five nests in a row nailed to the side of the barn. But it was a little above my head. Uh, I had to reach up, not being able to see, and I just reached up there and feel for the eggs. And there was a big old chicken snake in there. I touched that snake, and as far as I was concerned, it made stay in there until <laughs> I rot it. I didn't care anything about that. That's just a chicken snake. It wouldn't hurt you, but scare you to death. They're usually big. Big old thing. Well, speaking of snakes, uh, we had quite a few rattlers around. I remember the first encounter I remember with a rattlesnake was Daddy was milking, and I guess I'd finished doing whatever I was supposed to do. And I was just running around out yeah, there at the cow lot with him. And for some reason or other, there was no Model T door laying there on the ground a few feet from the from the milking pan and uh, I was running and jump on that door and then jump off and run some more and go around a circle and come back and do it all over again. Well I'd done that a few times and Daddy hollered at me to get off that door, stay off of it, and to go over there by the garden and get him a hoe. Well, I did sold, I got it, brought it to him, he took that hole and turned the door over, and there was a big rattler underneath it. Uh, he'd heard it while he was milking, but I, I hadn't heard it, I don't know if I'd recognize the sound or not, but him anyway, I didn't hear it. We had another uh, incident with a rattler later on, I was in high school, and over at Fort Hood, they were doing a lot of excavating, and people claimed that they were driving snakes out of those mountains over there, over into, and some of them were coming over into our part of the county. And one night I was laying in the house on the bed uh, studying, and I heard the uh, rattler, I guess about the same time Daddy did, he jumped up, but, well the dog was uh, barking, that's what it was, I don't guess we heard him rattle. Uh, anyway, Daddy went out there to see what it was all about. Well, you can tell pretty much what you got when a dog goes in a circle, jumping in, jumping back out. It's a snake. So I immediately, uh, when I heard it, went and got the gun and took it out there. It was a real uh, brightly lit night, big moon. And Daddy, in the meantime, had uh, grabbed a crowbar. He must have been digging some holes around the yard or something. But that's what he grabbed for a weapon. Well, you know, using a crowbar, you've got to practically stand over the top of what you're attempting to do if you dig a hole and kill a snake. Well, I'd come with a gun, and I was begging him to take the gun, get back out of the way where he could shoot it. But no, he's already, already using that uh, crowbar, so he, he killed that snake. And we uh, hung it up the next day. Day was about 5 foot 10. Uh, Floyd and Jesse come over there that morning to look at it, and they held it up on a had a, a stick run through its body, and 
Uh, that snake, uh, it was it was right close to uh, six foot long, and I'd say at the girth it was uh, four, four or five inches. It was a big snake. I only had one other rattler around there that I remember seeing the mother killed one out by the rain barrel. We kept a barrel out there to catch rainwater. She particularly liked to use it for washing her hair, washing my hair. Uh, baths, we, but Daddy and I took baths down at the little old swimming hole we had. It, it wasn't much. It was mainly just bathtubs. On one side of it had a kind of a sheer bank, rock, sheer bank. The other side it kind of smoothed out into mud and old weeds and underbrush and stuff like that, and the snakes stayed in there. I've seen snakes over in that part of the up the little old hole, but uh, for the little they never came over in our part. They told me not to worry about it. They wouldn't come over there. We were slapping around, making noise. We kept her soaked out there and, and her washcloth, maybe a towel, I don't remember. That's where we took her bass. And the, when the weather fitting, and I took some pretty cold bass in there, too. Mother took her bass in the tub at the house that uh, water carried up from the old train. 